I apologize for the short updates, but I'm struggling to remember how it all began. So please, I urge you to bear with me. At that time, I was devoid of all emotion. I stared ahead with a blank stare. The monster hovered mere feet away from me, making weird, struggled breaths as I approached it. Well, as it approached me, my mind swirled with thoughts. My grandfather was an experienced monster hunter, right? Why would he shoot the creature with the wrong bullets? He should have known they'd have no effect. I was too lost in thoughts to realize my body was heating up and my heart began pounding in my ears. Wait, I... I feel weird. My face burned and I began to sweat. What's happening to me? The pounding continued until I heard absolute silence. I looked up and realized time had slowed down somewhat. What's this? Shanice finally broke her silence. I think this was planned, Darren. I looked at the flying monster and it seemed to be frozen in place as well. I stood up. What do you mean? Shanice cleared her throat. With everything that's been planned, it isn't too far-fetched to say your grandfather died on purpose. I furrowed my brow. But why? There was a brief silence when Shanice replied. I feel a change in your soul, Darren. Your spirit is overwhelming right now. I think in order to achieve this, your grandfather had to die before your eyes. I grimaced. I guess my life is destined to be fucked. I sighed and entered my granddad's house. I then found a silver sword. I remembered the sword from when I visited last week. How heavy it was. How shiny it was. Now it was light as a pencil to me. I then shifted my feet to walk towards the monster. It was still suspended in air, frozen in place. An unusual smirk crossed my face as I walked right under it, dragging the sword along the creature's skin. I then flung the blood from the blade and sheathed the sword. Slowly, I saw as the monster took damage and time went back to normal. Blood squirted out the long and very deep gash I had caused in the monster. The creature yelled out in pain, then turned to face me. A chuckle escaped my lips. Die, you fucking abomination, I whispered. My body moved quicker than I could realize, but managed to dodge the creature's super fast dive bomb. I had no clue it had even tried to attack me. My body just reacted. I was still in midair when the creature attacked me again. This time, it swatted at me with its fleshy wing. Somehow, I twisted my body and avoided the massive wing, landing on my feet unscathed. Once again, a confident smirk crossed my face as I pulled my sword out again, entering an unknown stance. When the creature moved again, I seemed to have been teleported to it considering how fast I moved. The creature swatted at me again, to which I easily dodged. After gaining my footing, I then plunged the sword deep into its left eye socket, then ripped it out in a different angle. Blood sprayed everywhere, raining the area with viscera. Though to my surprise, I opened my mouth to drink the blood. I took big gulps until I wasn't even thirsty anymore. What I did next was beyond weird. I put the handle of the sword in my mouth and got on all fours. Darren! Shinny screamed. Darren! I could hear her. I could see what I was doing. Despite that, I had no control. Whatever my grandfather awakened, it wasn't me anymore. <laughs>